best win of the season. And, and the reason I feel that way is because uh, we beat an outstanding team tonight. You know, we've been watching Cal throughout the year. I knew they were going to be an excellent team. Uh, their, their physical size, their talent, their experience, watching how Jabari Bird and Jordan Matthews have really settled into great shooters on the perimeter. They have all the parts of a championship type of team. And uh, they're also an outstanding defensive team. You know, part of why Gabe didn't get a lot of shots in the first half, you know, I, I like to take the blame or say, hey, we didn't do this. But, you know, they're, they're not an easy team to score on. They're not an easy team to, to get a three-point shot on. So the fact we beat them, uh, we feel really good about because, again, of the quality that they bring to the table and you play them. They're outstanding. Um, the finish tonight was one of the great finishes that I've been a part of. Um, karma has a funny way of coming back around. Uh, I've listened or heard, you know, the different quotes, the different people saying that at the end of the game that Gabe hasn't necessarily come through, that, you know, maybe you need to give the ball to somebody else, etc. cetera. Um, he looked pretty good at the end of the game tonight. And, uh, and he's done it more times than you realize at Gonzaga. <clears throat> at Cal, he had a really big three, and then he ended up having the game-winning shot not go in, but it was a good drive. But his shots, how difficult they were, how clutch they were. I mean, you're going to watch a lot of basketball games. You're not going to see an ending like that very often. Uh, it, was, it was amazing. And, the other part of the karma is I've never been more happy for a kid than, than I am right now for Gabe because as a freshman, he didn't play any state. As a sophomore, he accepted his role on a great team. He did not get enough credit for the role he had on last year's team. And now it's not always fun when you're the hunted. It's not always fun when you're the guy who shoots the ball at the end of the game, there's a lot of responsibility that you feel. And to watch him bounce back from last week's performance, his own and our team's, and do what he did tonight in the second half, he had 19 points in the second half against an incredible defensive team. And uh, he deserves a lot of credit. He put us on his back, and we left with an incredibly hard-fought win. The other part for tonight is we played tremendous defense. If you look at Cal's numbers, other than their offensive rebounding, if we would have done a better job there, I think we'd have won the game by a different margin or maybe a different way. But uh, they certainly beat us up around the glass. But we, our numbers, our defense, our perimeter defense showed up tonight. And that was also a big part of why we won. What was your mindset that final play set up? Were you sure you were going to Gabe? Was it definitely a three or two you wanted, or what was going through your mind? No, we were definitely going to him. But we told him that you don't need to shoot a three. And sometimes in that situation, you, you really feel great regret because you ended up taking a challenge, step back, or fade away three when you didn't need a three. A three was going to win the game, a two, a foul. So if it was there, we wanted him to shoot it, and I'm certainly glad that, uh, that he did. And we had a couple guys set some great screens on the play. All five guys came out of the timeout, executed, and you have to make the shot. No play looks good when you miss it. And uh, that play looked good because uh, he made a shot, and it was a tough shot. Sean, you mentioned the lane game situations where he hasn't necessarily been successful. Did you consciously, though, decide to run a play for him versus putting the ball in his hands like you've done in the past? Well, he's been red off. Red, he was red hot off of screens without the ball, so we, we stayed in that mode. But if he wouldn't have shot it, it could have ended on a screen uh, on the ball or throwing it to Ryan in the post. But he's uh, – Gabe's a good player. I mean, he, he makes a really high percentage from the line. Uh, he makes good decisions with the ball. He's the most experienced guard on our team. And he's by far the best three-point shooter we have. So to not go to him, you know, some other things have to be, have to be there for us to make that other choice. You know, Alonzo certainly is a candidate with how strong of a driver he is. But on senior weekend – I think you need to go with him, and I'm glad we did. He said you drew that play up in like 25 seconds. Is that a play that you've run before? Was that something just for that situation? The play that we were running, which he made two threes, was going the other way, 
and we stopped him and came back. It's kind of a counter to that. Uh, like I said, you have to make the shot, and he did. You put Caleb on Rab down the stretch. Just talk about the job you did keeping him off the glass. Yeah, he did. Ivan Rab is a tremendous player. Six offensive rebounds. I really felt like his offensive rebounding in the second half would have been the reason Cal beat us. He had three or four tip-ins. You know, he made a three-point shot. They made a couple of tough shots now. Uh, Jordan Matthews, three from the right wing, uh, really challenged clutch. I think one of the other guys made a three-point shot. That was tough. And then, you know, Ivan, that, that was the first three of the year of the Pac-12, right? He, I don't think he yeah. shot a three. No. That's his first shot. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, things have in a way of evening out. We made a couple, too, so I'm glad we did. He's a really good player, though. You guys got beat on the boards 44-31 with Caleb Brown, the last one. That's the big one. Um, how important was that rebound? And when he, you guys haven't won all those battles this year. For him to win that one in particular, what did that mean? He did. He went and got it. And I've been saying this for three or four years. You know, Caleb's defense is uh, a, a really significant part of, of his career's winning success. I mean, his presence, his ability to defend the rim, defend the, the ball screens, his intelligence, his rebounding. He's rebounded this season. He's, you realize he's doubled his rebounding in the Pac-12. Part of what I ask him is, I'm just curious, what was going on last year? <laughs> I mean, and he may, you know, you could say, well, we were a great rebounding team last year, Coach. There are a lot of others going and getting it. We're just as good this year. Other than tonight, we have about the same margin and the same success rebounding as we did a year ago. And a big, big reason is he has stepped up and he's rebounding at an extraordinary level. How important was it to take Jalen Brown out of the game? He struggled all night. He got in foul trouble. That hurt him. And, uh, and then once he picked up that third, we really tried to go at him. Unsuccessfully, we had a turnover. And we went through a couple of stages where we were almost forcing the ball to get a foul on him. Sometimes you want, it, want him to pick up a foul so bad that you end up running bad offense. And we did that a couple of times. But uh, he didn't have his typical good night, but he's one of the most outstanding freshmen uh, in this country. Gabe mentioned he was surprised at times at how open he was in the second half. What, was there a change that you guys made to, to get him up? Yeah. We, we involved him in more ball screens. Uh, they were really trying to front the post. They were sagging off of our bigs. And when you sag off of our bigs, when they then become on-ball screeners, there's no help. And uh, we, we started to twist, to set it. If he goes under, get him again. Early in the second half, that got Gabe going, those ball screens. When you watch it, you'll see he made two or three 15-footers right off of that. And then once the ball goes in a couple of times, then you get your confidence going. But there, there's a delicate balance this year with our offense, and that is how many plays you run and how much you – you let us play what we call passing game. With passing game, you have a lot more freedom of movement, but you can't dictate who's going to shoot it. With set plays, you can really dictate who's going to shoot it, but you don't have as much movement. And in the second half, we, we had better movement, which a lot of times those are going to create the best shots for game. You talked about this a couple of weeks ago after USC, but did you have to talk Gabe into staying after, after his first year? I wouldn't say talk, in, talk him into it but really make him believe that he had a bright future here. And his mom and him uh, believed, believed us. And, and I'm glad he stayed because he, he's not just having a very good year this year, obviously a great game today, but you just go through the statistics of what he's brought to this program in a four-year window. I mean, he's one of the all-time best three-point shooters that have played here. He's won a ton of games. And, and he, you know what, all that, that's great. He's also a great kid, great kid. Because we're going to, you guys could play for the tie. Um, was there any thought to go for that, or was it just go for the? We were just going to take the best shot we could get. And you know, we've had a few go the other way too, as you know. Like if we lose tonight and say Ivan Rad made the first three of his career, the only three of his career, things like that happen in big games, you know. Uh, but we also made some big, big plays. If you look at our losses in the Pac-12. Really, other than Oregon here, and I think with about four minutes left or five minutes left, I think we're in a tie game here. But it never felt that way. They, they seem to be the better team from start to finish. Other than that game, our losses have come really on single possessions, big, big plays, big moments. 
and we've made some too. But I li like our team. I think we have a resiliency about us. We have an experience about us. And you know what? We have to put this game behind us and play against a team, Stanford, that is playing excellent and are coming off some good wins. The Trier's defense on the Wallace on that last play. Did a good job. Yep. He owes us. He's down, like in this card game, by about 50 moves. You know what I mean by that? <laughs> so he's negative 50. Tonight he earned two backs. So now he's True. negative 48 in terms of defensive plays. Oh, okay. We're going to get him to negative 45, and hopefully we're going to move him up. But he, he owes us a few. And tonight, in the biggest moment of the game, he defended at a very high level, and he told on himself. If you can do it in that moment, you can do it in any moment. So the third straight, nice second half, but to get over the top this one, what was the difference between a good comeback and a good comeback with a win? We didn't have a bad level of play in the first half. We were just playing against a really good team. Early in the second half, though, we established that we were in it for real and we were going we to play to win. We came right out of halftime ready. But I've been preaching to our team, the fans and, and even you guys, everybody focuses on that last play. Again, hey, Gabe's had the ball a couple times. It hasn't worked. Maybe the biggest play in the entire game was the last play of the first half. And that is we had a turnover at the top of the key, and they had a breakaway layup, and Kadeem Allen didn't give up. He ran full speed, and he blocked the shot. And that's what I told him when we got in at halftime. That might have been the game-winning play. And if you look at the final score, it was. It's so much about playing every play and not giving in. And in games like this, it's about hustle. It's about effort. It's about you know, trust, togetherness. It's never about, hey, great play coach or you out-executed them because both teams at this stage are very good. In the game 